This lesson will look at how we can use a Casio class pad calculator to solve systems of equations and then look at a practical situation where this method proves useful. So rather than using the elimination method, if you have a class pad calculator, you can solve a system of equations like this. In the main application, pull up the keyboard and the 2D tab and you'll see this button here with the long bracket and the black and the white rectangle. If you tap that button once, we have two boxes, one for each equation. So I'll type those in. And then the third box, just to the right of the vertical line, is where we put the variables that we want to solve. So in this case, it's x and y. We want to know the values of x and y that are true for both equations simultaneously. So we type those in separated by a comma, x comma y, and then press execute. Pulling up the two solutions, x equals 4 and y equals 7. So when we have a system of three equations, the calculator also will solve these quite easily. It's back to the main screen, and this time that button with the black and white rectangles, tap it twice, and every additional tap adds another template for an equation. So now we can type in our three equations, and this time we've got three variables, x, comma, y, comma, z, and execute. The calculator solves these quite easily, but what if we're not given the equations, instead we're given a practical situation that we need to solve? At first glance, it might not seem obvious that this is a system of linear equations, but we'll read the situation through and you'll see. So we have a total of $10,000 which we're investing in three different schemes, and we're told how much each scheme makes or loses in the first year and in the second year. We're told how much it totaled after the first year and after the second year, and we're asked to find how much was invested in each scheme at the start. So we've got our $10,000, and we want to know how much was invested in Scheme A, how much Scheme B, and how much Scheme C. So let's use variables x, y, and z. Let x, y, and z be the amount invested in Scheme A, B, and C respectively. So then there's some information we know about x, y and z straight away. We know that x, y and z must total $10,000. Then we've got some information about what happens in the first year and what happens in the second year. Now in the first year scheme A made 10% so x has been increased by 10% which means it's now 1.1x and scheme B lost 8%, so y is now 0.92y, and scheme C made 5%, so z has been increased to 1.05z. The total value of the investment after that first year is $10,350. And then we have some information about the second year. So in the second year, scheme A made 20%, so that 1.1x has been increased by 20%, which means multiplying by 1.2. So 1.2 of the 1.1x. Scheme B lost money again, 10% this time. So it's now 0.9 of the 0.92y. And Scheme C made 8%. So we now have 1.08 of that 1.05z. And at the end of the second year we now have $11,236. So back into the main screen, tap that button twice to get the template for three equations. Remember in this box to the right of the vertical line we put our three variables x, y and z and execute and the Calculator tells us that 3,500 was invested into Scheme A, 2,500 invested into Scheme B, 
and $4,000 invested into Scheme C. So we just write a concluding sentence, how much was invested into each scheme at the start, 3,500 into Scheme A, 2,500 into Scheme B, and $4,000 into Scheme C.